What's up, everyone? What is happening? Okay, so presidential candidate uh, Marianne Williamson was recently in church where she was, uh, uh, obviously, she's campaigning. She's running for president on the Democratic side, of course. Um, and she she asked the, she led a prayer. She asked everyone to engage in this prayer, which was really nothing more than some pandering uh, apology to black people for uh, for what white people's done, what white people have done in history. Uh, she asked everyone to get together and hold hands with like the nearest resident black person of the church, and then she said, you know, repeat after me. You know, I uh, I apologize. You know, you know, all white people repeat after me. Uh, you know, I apologize for racism and slavery and Jim Crow and and this and for that and and it, it was just it was just so cringeworthy. I can't even believe that she fell that low and did something like that. Make no mistake about it. This was uh, straight up her pandering. Everyone sees right through it. Um, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I like to believe most black people in the country know that she's pandering or know that behavior like this is is pandering and they're not really with it too much because it, it is an insult. It is kind of, uh, you know, you're insulting people's intelligence by doing something like this. Now, that's one issue. The next issue I have with this is that this is nothing short of racism. She's expecting people based on a certain uh, skin color to apologize to other people based on a certain skin color. This is racism. If I was there, she would expect me to apologize for being white. You're, you're asking me to apologize because of my skin color. This is racism is exactly what it is. She won't be called out though, uh, mainly because the left doesn't feel that you can be racist towards white people. That's one issue. Uh, issue number two, she's polling so low, there's no need to even engage her during the debates and call her out for, for behavior like this. Um, pretty much because she's just not going to win. Uh, and why Why should we engage her? Just ignore her. Let her stand there. And uh, she's just a seat filler. Anyway, they had like an extra microphone and podium. They're like, put her there. Once once it, it has to go back to the rental place, we'll just drop her from it. And she's gone. She's out of the race. Um, she's not going to do very well. I would like to believe that most of the moderate and, uh, you know, the middle of the road Democrats are not with that. They might not, you know, publicly announce that they're against these self-loathing white liberal uh, with white guilt and all that stuff. They, they don't want to say it, but if you catch them in a room by themselves, they'll admit that they're, that they're not cool with all that. It's very cringeworthy and silly. Um, uh, they just won't you know, call it out in public because they're afraid of, 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 uh, uh, of anything to come back to them if they say anything about that. So uh, it, it makes her look very weak. Her character is very weak. I don't see her being a leader. I don't see her uh, a run, you know, being the leader of the free world if she's going to run around and apologize. We had a president, that the last guy, uh, that spent his first term running around apologizing to the world for, uh, for us existing as Americans. Um, you know, completely forgetting the fact that America has done more for this, this, this planet than any other nation ever in the history. Uh, but he still felt the need to apologize and she's, you know, she's going down the same route. Now, she's an author or something. If I'm not mistaken, she's an author of um, uh, like some spiritual stuff, some abstract nonsense. Uh, she's some author and I know she she likes to throw the word love around and everything like, hey, you know, uh, love this. And it just I'm going to I'm going to fix the country with love. And it's just silliness that uh, no one is really falling for. This is not a novel. This is politics. Uh, this is real. She needs to get her act together. Oh, actually, don't even bother. She has zero chance of being uh, uh, being our next president. Uh, but check out the video. I, I watched it on DC Shorts. Um, I watch their channel once in a while. They, they put up good stuff. Uh, check them out. Check out uh, uh, check out that video. And uh, I'm telling you, you're gonna get goosebumps. It's so cringy watching it. It's just it's just insane. I wonder if she watched it later on and said to herself, "Oh man, what did I do? Does she not have any friends or any any campaign uh, uh, staffers to tell her like, don't don't do that, don't do that? Like you just look foolish. You look stupid. Uh, it's not going to increase your poll numbers. In fact, I think people might actually lose respect for you. Um, if I was working on her campaign or if I was supporting her or something." Um, I, I would definitely think twice after watching something like that. It makes her look extremely weak and, um, and, and, and just insignificant. Uh, very, very, very poor choice on her part. Um, and that's about it. Okay, so please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell, help me grow my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.